What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Leo, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general flip reading for sign of Leo. This can resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your chart. I just heard try again. Uh, sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or North Node, Manhattan, Jupiter, Charged. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general click the reading for Sign of Leo. Love you guys so much. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Um, if you like to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. I offer a new service called Life Coaching. If anybody's interested, the link's in the description box below. Thanks for all the recent donations. You guys are just the bomb.com. Love you guys. Um, this could resonate if you have Leo in any aspect to your charge. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts for additional message or messages. Um, and this is a free general collective reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. It's very important, okay? Please don't force any message or messages that don't fit. Um, only take the message or messages that apply to your own particular personal situation or situations, okay? I did receive two channel messages as I was meditating on your energy for week two of um, uh, 2022. And the first one I heard a very, okay, so the first one I heard a very toxic position of high authority currently in the workspace that used to be a um, co-worker and above you in the past. I heard through many series of chain of events, I heard you're not in energetic connection with this person anymore. I did hear that too. I heard through many series of chain of events, they're about to get terminated. I heard not a wrongful termination. Um, and I heard the whole entire city is about to find out about this. It's about to be huge. I heard it's about to benefit you in a huge way. That was number one. The second one, I heard uh, a Leo reader they are about to get surprise communication from um, a customer of their past. Uh, for some, it's about to be very positive communication. For some, it's about to be very negative. So you plug that in, how that resonates and applies. So how that resonates and applies for you, Leo. It sounds like both of these have not happened yet. It sounds like they're upcoming in the universe. So um, you have to plug them in, how they resonate, okay? But um, for the first one, it is... You used to, okay, so you used to work with this person. They are, it sounds like they're a very high position of authority now. But when you worked with them, they were, I heard they were a co worker and they were above you. So, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so, um, I think they were, oh, well, I heard they were above you and they were a co worker. But it sounds like now they have leveled up and it sounds like they're significantly like. Like if you were to hire in the same position you were in previously when you were around this person and worked with them in the 3D workspace, they would be several rankings up from you, from what it was, from what you remember is what I'm saying. Uh, I feel for some of you guys, this was years ago. For some, this could have been six months ago. I mean, but however that resonates and applies, but however that resonates and applies, they're about to get terminated. I heard they're, you're not in um, energetic connection with them anymore. They're about to get terminated. I heard the entire city is about to find out. I heard it's going to be huge. Um, and I heard it's definitely not a wrongful termination. Now, I didn't hear why they're about to get terminated. But it is definitely not a wrongful termination, so they definitely deserve it. And it's about, people are about to talk about it. Like, boom, boom, boom. I mean, it's about to get around. Like wildfire is what I feel. Like wildfire like wildfire that's confirmation like wildfire so that's situation one but i heard it's about to benefit you behind the scenes in a huge way so i think this person um i feel they're low vibrational they're definitely low vibrational definitely they sabotaged you in a huge way in the past okay i heard they're definitely that's confirmation they're definitely low low vibrational and they sabotaged you in the past so they, so it sounds like when you worked with them, they sabotaged you or helped sabotage you. How that resonates and applies. But, um, but they're about to get terminated. So behind the scenes, it's about to help you out in a huge way. And it sounds like they know a crap ton of people or a crap ton of people is about to be interested in this situation. Um, how this resonates and applies. But I heard it's about to benefit you in a huge way. 
Leo, whoever you are, um, you would know you have you only you would know if you fit into that situation. It is somebody that you used. They sabotaged you behind the scenes. I feel for some you could know that they did intuitively. For some you could have found out from somebody else possibly, or for some you you may not know. But you worked with them in the past. They were above you, but they were they're not near. When you work with them, they they have leveled up many times since then, like position of high authority wise. So it's they they're not they're not in the same position they used to be when they were above you and y'all were co-workers in the past, if that makes sense. Um man, this is strong. So you plug it in how it resonates, Leo. And then for situation two, you're a Leo reader. So um Turco reader is what I'm feeling. And there's two of you guys in situation two. Um, you're about to get communication uh, from a customer. I heard a customer, a client of the past. For some of you guys, it's about to be positive communication. For some, it's about to be negative. So you plug it in how it resonates. However that resonates, it applies. You are a Leo reader, tarot card reader. So you have a, uh, you obviously have a tarot card reading business in some shape, form, or fashion. You're either about to get positive communication from a client of the past or negative. However that resonates, it applies, okay? All right, so number 37 could be a very significant number. Number 37, it could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number. Number 37, we have expansion, panther, owl. I think this is that position of authority that sabotaged you in the past, so it's about to get terminated. I think they're about to be a panther energy. Owl. For some of you dealing with a um, fire sign or air sign. If you are, they could have um, Aries Leo Sag or... Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Wolf, them in Aries, Jupiter, charts. November, um, Rose, romance is in the air. Throne, position of authority. Dogs, getting together with friends. This is actually looking pretty good, um, Leo. For the most part. Of course, we're only seven minutes in. <laughs> Expansion. A Leo has really been focusing on a, growing their business, some two plus business, two and two plus businesses. Some, they're going to continue to steadily grow. For some, they, they're not going to grow. You have been trying, 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 trying. It's not happening and it's not going to happen. For some, they're about to increase in a huge way a huge way wow so heavy business energy here so business owner or owners if this resonates for you um okay so we've got three different categories here business expansion business growth that is the goal here for all three situations for some okay so it sounds like it's already an established business now it could be anything we already are pulling in heavy reader energy in here so for some it could be reading businesses for some it could be anything else um, how that resonates and applies, but definite business owner energy here. Um, whether you're the primary owner, sole proprietorship, you have an LLC, your co-owner or whatever, whatever, um, three different situations. The goal in all three of these is to expand the business, grow the business, increase revenue sales, um, attention, uh, clientele or what have you, what have you. But, um, Okay, so for one, I heard it, it is going to continue. Situation one is going to continue to expand and grow, but I heard it a steady pace, like slow and steady wins the race. That's situation one for one of you guys. For situation two, I heard you've been trying and trying and trying and trying and trying to grow it, but I heard it's not going to grow. It was off of stolen money. It was off of stolen money um, is what I heard. So, okay, so situation two. You're trying and trying and trying and trying to expand and grow this business, whatever the crap it is. But I heard it's not going to expand and grow because there's some kind of stolen money there. So that's situation two. Situation three, um, I heard yours is already established. They're all established, it sounds like. But situation three, now I don't know how long you've had this business. I don't know if you've had it a week, two weeks, two years, 20 years. But I heard it's about to start. Boom. It's about to start. Boom. Take it off like a freaking rocket ship um so you have to plug yourself in wherever you resonate if you resonate with these categories okay 
and you're a business owner or owners. For some, it's one business. For some, it's two. For some, it's two plus businesses. But heavy business owner energy here, whether it's LLC or sole proprietorship. You plug it in how it resonates. Expansion, growth. Two of these situations, they're going, one and three is going to expand. Two is not because it's stolen money. So you plug it in how it resonates. And um, it sounds like whoever is in two, you're trying, I heard you've been trying and trying and trying. But it's not, it's not going to work. Um, because it sounds like negative karma is about to boomerang back because of, um, or it has boomerang back because it sounds like you created it with false, pre false, false pretenses, meaning some kind of stolen money. Now, whether you know it was stolen money or not, I'm not sure. Only you know your situation is throwing at anybody else. But not all money is good money. If you take stolen money, there will eventually be consequences there. And I'm just being for real. If anybody needs to hear that. And um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. Panther. A very angry water sign and earth sign, low vibrational of your past, is about to be very pissed at you because a series of chain of events that are about to occur in their own universe. But it is, you just keep moving forward because it's not your fault. It's the choices they made in the past. Very serious negative things are about to happen to them. And an air sign. And an air sign. But you keep moving forward. Oh my God. You plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so we got a water sign, an earth sign, and an air sign. And a fire sign. And a, oh my God, and a fire sign. And a fire sign. So all the signs, the whole genre across the board. Um, whoever these people are, we've got all of them on the board on here. Um, something is about to happen. I'm feeling to at least 12 people in the universe. I'm feeling. I'm thinking one of each sign or maybe two or two plus of each sign. I mean, we've got all the sign, we've got all the groups on the board here. Um, or maybe one from each group. Maybe it's four. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, there's about to be negative power moments of people in your past, basically. I don't feel you're in energetic connection with these people anymore, Leo. Whoever these people are, if this message applies for you. I don't feel you're in energetic connection with these people anymore. But something is about to happen in their own world. But somehow they're going to try to project it and blame it on you. But I heard you just keep moving forward if that resonates for you. Because that's not the choice. You did not. You can't be responsible for the actions they made in the past. And whatever the crap they did in the past was, it uh, sounds like very bad uh, whatever it is i didn't hear specifically what it is but the spiritual download in this is basically just keep moving forward i heard they're very angry at you so it sounds like they're about to project project angrily upon you project negative energy project project angry anger and negativity upon you because basically they're about to have to be held accountable for wrongdoing or wrongdoings or some kind of um bad decision or bad decisions they have made but some reason they want to blame it on you uh, but the spiritual download in this was just to keep moving forward if this resonates and applies for you okay so they're going to be in panther energy they're going to be very angry they're going to want to project and be and project anger and hostility and negativity upon you um but I heard you just for you, you keep moving forward. You cannot be responsible and held accountable for other people's mistakes or wrongdoings or uh, or negative choices here. And that's it sounds like they're about to be angry at you because of their choices and they're about to get caught or reprimanded or something negative. Okay. Owl. For some, I feel it could have been something they've done in November. Well, no, this is November. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Owl. Owl. 
A particular Scorpio is very pissed at you. Very pissed. They thought you would react in a very different way than you have. And you have not. No, it makes them very angry. And they're going to continue to get negative karma. But that is on them. Okay, so heavy Scorpion energy. So if this resonates for you, somebody's dealing with Scorpio. I'll tell you that. Uh, Scorpio, your past or recent past or maybe your present. How this resonates. But sounds like there's been some kind of recent past energy of whether, um, or past energy, how that resonates, of some kind of situation dealing with Scorpio. Mass Scorpio and Scorpio. They can have Scorpio in any aspects of their charts. But they, I heard they thought you would react a different way to whatever this is and how this applies into your life. But I heard you didn't. You actually, um, you reacted a different way and it pisses them off. It puts them in pamper energy. Um, they have received very heavy negative karma and they will continue. They're a liar and many people know this. Keep moving forward. Okay, well, there you go. That's confirmation. I mean, so, okay, so they lied on you in some shape, form, or fashion. They lied on you in some shape, form, or fashion in the past. Now, whatever the lie is, only you would know or they would know or whatever. I mean, but I feel it's pretty substantial lie or lies. Um, defamation of character. Defamation of character is what I just heard. Oh, that's pretty serious. Okay, so they have defamed your character. And it sounds like in public, publicly. Um, now, defamation of character is slander, meaning it's lies. The truth is one thing, but when you defame somebody's character, one, it's public, and two, it's lies. It's not even the truth. So whatever the hell it was, it was lies, and it was slander, and it was public. Um, whatever it is. Um, maybe for some, you catch them publicly, or you, or you, um, maybe for some, you can place a defamation of character lawsuit on them, is what I'm trying to say. Because, uh, especially if it's regarding your public credentials and, uh, licensure or credentials or certificate or, your public image, like if you're a professional out in the 3D and they like defame your character so terribly, um, if you find out information on that or you have, you could place a defamation of character lawsuit on them for anybody who doesn't know. Uh, but I heard they've already received negative karma. They're going to continue to. So whoever um, whoever this Scorpio is, it could be mask or fem, Scorpio. Um, that could be one of the ones that's about to receive neg uh, like the negative power moments here. But you plug it in how it resonates, um, Leo. But they're very angry at you. They're angry at you because they told lies about you? That doesn't make sense. They're angry at you because they told lies about you. Please make it make sense. I'm just saying. That makes no sense. And a Piscean energy is about to become a huge ass headache to this person. A huge headache. They're about to regret their life choices in a huge way. Okay, and some kind of Piscean energy. Um, so it sounds like they're connect. It sounds like you are of their past or recent past. How that resonates, Leo, of this Scorpio. But the Pisces is of their current. It sounds like current energy here, um, and probable future energy, but. Some kind of Pisces energy, whoever this Pisces is to this Scorpio, they're coming in very strong as a panther energy. Very strong. Um, projection angrily towards you, but it's not even your damn fault. They lied on you. They need to take accountability and responsibility for their own damn actions. And that's just the truth. But they're connected to some kind of Piscean. It sounds like current energy. Um, and I heard this person is about to become a huge headache in their life. Like a huge headache. I heard that's going to make them regret their life choices. So whoever this Pisces is and how they resonate, I feel the Pisces can be anybody connected to them, but only they know who this Pisces is, not anybody else. But some some kind of Pisces energy, masculine or femme, is giving them, or sounds like either currently giving them a headache or upcoming about to give them a headache. I mean, they could get angry at them. I mean, I'm not sure, but definite projection and negative energy to you, though. Woo! I heard it's going to make them regret their life choices.
One of these Pisces is about to become so codependent on this Scorpio. So codependent. Is about to become insufferable. Suffocating. Oh, God. Oh, okay. So this is a, this Pisces is a codependent energy. That's probably why they're getting them a headache. Who likes codependent energies on people? Nobody. Um, okay. So they're about to become so codependent on this Scorpio that I heard it's about to become insufferable, like suffocating. So I don't think physically suffocating. I think like metaphorical suffocating, like sucking the life force out of them. They're always needing something or got to be around them or oh i need some help you know like they can't help themselves um that's insufferable suffocating energy in a metaphorical standpoint and that's just the truth i don't think physical suffocation here but yikes but i think this is behind the scenes for me leo i'm just saying owl a very intelligent High vibrational air sign is about to become a very positive person in your life soon. Very high vibrational. They are seeing the real truth. And they are about to become a very positive person in your life through many series of shame events. Wow. So you plug it in how it resonates. Maybe for some they help your business grow because we have heavy business energy in here in the three categories. But you plug it in how it resonates, Leo. That's really beautiful. Okay, so high vibrational air sign energy. Um, it hasn't happened yet. It's upcoming. But I will tell you, uh, them becoming a very positive part in your life. Uh, I'm feeling personal life or maybe business life, maybe professional for some. I didn't hear if it was personal or professional. It could be any, any of those. It could be platonic, personal, professional, whatever it is. I didn't hear specifically, okay? But I will tell you, they have already seen the real truth. I will tell you that. They've already seen the real truth about you. So for some, you, I mean, heavy defamation of character. So somebody went around and displayed your professional uh, career and name into the mud in the past. I feel for some of these high vibrational air signs, they were a part of that. Maybe for some, they believed them. Maybe for some, they didn't. But it sounds like they're high vibrational enough to seek out the truth of their own. And it sounds like they already have. And they know the real truth, whatever the real truth is. And I think, obviously, it's not what these people have said it was, is what I'm trying to say. And whoever you are, um, those people were, in, I feel they were intentionally slandering your name and defaming your character for a reason. They most certainly were. And this air sign, one already knows it, and one's about to get a huge wake-up call and realize it. Okay, that's confirmation. I heard they most certainly were. They were most certainly slandering your name, defaming your character, slamming your reputation into the mud, um, whatever the crap they were saying for strategic reasons. Um, but, but, um, one of these, high, there's at least two high vibrational air signs in here. One has already gotten a huge wake-up call and realized it's not true. One is about to. So, two high vibrational air signs, one masculine, one, or, I'm sorry, I didn't hear masculine or feminine. They could be masculine or feminine. That's what I was going to say. They could be masculine or feminine. They could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, or Jupiter. More, uh, sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. I feel for some, they could be position on authorities, possibly. Possibly. So, a position on authority card here. For some, maybe not. But I heard they're about to become very positive influences in your life. I mean, not influences, but positive energies in your life soon so i didn't hear influences i heard energies like a positive part of your life whether it's personal professional platonic or whatever whatever um so one definitely already knows the truth one's about to learn the truth the real truth there were huge lies here said you were a prostitute you had hep c all different kinds of things. You were a drug user. None of it's true. Said you were LPN and you are RN for one. Oh my God. This is terrible. Well, that is definite defamation of character if I've ever heard it. Uh, okay, so for some of you guys, they said you had hepatitis C, hep C. For some, they said you were a prostitute. For some, they said you um, 
uh, we're a LPN when you're a RN. Um, LPN is like, um, for anybody who doesn't know, there's LPN and then there's RN, then there's CRNP uh, in the nursing world, for anybody who doesn't know. LPN, RN, CRNP, Certified Registered Nurse Practitioner. So you're a RN, but they were saying you were LPN. For one of you guys. For one, they said you were a prostitute. For one, they said you were um, uh, a pros uh, uh, had hepatitis C. And for one, I heard they said you um, were an IV drug user, which probably where the hep C came in because hep C, usually you get hep C from intravenous um, recreational drug use. Um, but I heard none of it's true. None of it's true. Um, oof. But an air sign's already realized this and one is about to. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, but they're about to become positive um, energies in your life uh, in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, at one time, they were not. But it was behind the scenes. For one, they were directly involved with you. Okay. Uh, for one, they were not. But it was behind the scenes. And for one, they were directly involved with you. But I feel they were negative energies. But it sounds like perspective has changed or it has changed, and now they're about to put positive energies in your life. So owls are wise, intelligent, um, very highly intellectual, um, and they're coming in their own air sign energy here. Um, they, and this also can be depicted as wisdom and truth too, the owl energy. So they've learned the truth or about to learn the truth, and they're about to come in their own air sign energy and use their own brains and realize what, what the crap these people were saying was def, def, defamation character for strategic reasons. Um, but it sounds like it's backfired on these people. And for some of these people, it's these, I feel it's these panther energies that was saying this shit about you, Leo. And I think for some, it was to, um, so your business would not expand because you're trying to grow your business for at least three. Um, and for some, you may be readers, for some, you may not be. But you plug it in how it resonates. That that's some shifty crap. It's about to seriously backfire. For one, you're about to learn information, and so you can file a lawsuit. It got way out of hand, and these and these people deserve it. Wow. Okay, I heard for one of you guys. So there's at least two in here that these people were defaming your character and all this. But for one. I heard you're about to learn the information of all this defamation of character, all these lies, saying you had FC, saying you're a prostitute, saying you're an IV drug user, saying all these, saying you're an LPN when you're an RN, and all this crazy crap. You're about to learn about it soon. I heard the information so you can file a defamation of character lawsuit because it got way out of hand. Meaning, I think they were expanding their gossip train all around a city or a state or social media or something, and it basically declined your business, um, it um, stunted your growth, it prevented money from coming in and opportunities from coming in. Um, and that is huge defamation of character. And that's just the truth. Um, that's a, that's terrible. I heard it got way out of hand. So I think it went, I think it wasn't just a couple of people they were talking to. I think it was a lot of people is what I'm trying to say. November. November of 2022 is about to be a huge positive month for many Leos. And October of 2022. Energy is shifting for a lot of high vibrational Leos. And you're about to be, you're about to have huge positive things happen to you in October of 2022 and November of 2022. Huge positive things. Well, that's beautiful. So you plug it in how it resonates, Leo. So, okay. So we got the November card, but I heard specifically October and November 2022. So we have two months in here and we're in October right now, October 9th of 2022. So you plug it in how it resonates, but I not only heard, um, not only heard November, I heard October too. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. For some, it could be October where huge positive things are about to start happening for you. For some, they already could have happened, I'm feeling. For some, it could be November upcoming. For some, it could be both. You have to plug it in how it resonates. But uh, I heard energy shifted here. 
It's going to continue to shift, and this is for the high-vibing Leo. So the ones that treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrities, and values here, you plug it in how it resonates. But energies are shifted. It's going to continue to shift. And basically, it's about to bring you some huge blessings here. Um, uh, this is October 2022 energy and November 2022 energy. Uh, for some, I feel you could be a position of high authority, or maybe you get offered a position of high authority position. Or you apply for a position of high authority position and you get it. Or, or a position of high authority, high vibrational energy. Possibly an air sign is about to become significant in your life in a positive way. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, positive energy shifts. October 2022, November 2022. And someone is planning a very low vibrational Halloween party. It's about to blow up in their face in a huge negative way. For some, it is your very low vibrational sister. For some, it is a cousin. For some, it is a co-worker of your past. But it's about to be good for you. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so low vibrational... Halloween party energy soon. Now, I mean, I'm all about some Halloween parties. We all know that. Halloween's my favorite holiday of the year. And that's just the truth. But it's because I like to dress up. I like to dress up and look cute or scary or whatever, whatever. And, you know, you can't go around doing that in freaking March. People will call you weird. Um, <laughs> which I don't mind being called weird. But I'm just saying, you know, it's very acceptable on Halloween. <laughs> so that's why it's my favorite holiday if you might didn't know that. But my point is, is... Um, Somebody's got some, okay, so we're not talking about fun little centerpieces with witch hats and bats. We're talking, I mean, this is low vibrational shit. I'm thinking dark arts, seances, Ouija boards, um, voodoo dolls, hoodoo voodoo, um, chanting, um, chanting, not positive, not positivity out to the moon, like moon magic shit. I mean, negative shit. Um, very dark energy. Very dark energy. Like Book of Shadows shit. I mean, like, like serious dark shit. Um, some it's your sister, some it's your cousin, some it's a, a ex coworker. But I heard these are about to blow up in their faces. Um, they're, they're, some, they're not going to even happen. And for one, it's going to happen, but it's going to be a huge bust. Okay, so for some of these uh, parties, they're not even going to happen. So they're going to blow up before they even happen. 10-9 um, of 2022, so I'm assuming in the next two or three weeks. For one, I heard it is going to happen, but I heard it's going to be a huge bust. So I don't think a lot of people are going to come, or they're not going to make it, or they don't want to come, and they cancel, what have you, what have you. But some of them are going to get canceled before they even occur, uh, whether it's your cousin, your sister, or your ex coworker planning this, or participating, or heading it, or what have you, what have you. And for one, it will happen, but it, it's going to be a bust. I, mean, I don't think a lot of people are going to come. They're not going to be interested. Or they, or something comes up and they can't come. Or the car breaks down. Or they have a fashion faux pas. Or what have you, what have you. Uh, but it, dark energy. I heard dark energy. So I'm thinking voodoo bowl of uh, voodoo. Um, pins and uh, voodoo dolls, Ouija boards, um, seances, moon magic, um, getting out the blood, um, the blood of, um, Sally the squirrel that they, uh, somebody took out just to get blood of Sally the squirrel. And I hate to say that, but I'm just being for real, like dark shit. Heavy, dark, arts, Halloween party, energy. But that I feel this is behind the scenes from you, and I feel you're a high vibrational Leo if that resonates for you. Only you would know if your sister, your cousin, or a, a co-worker of the past is into that shit. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Romance is in the air. A Leo, life-size spiritualist, definitely has a secret admirer. Most definitely does. 
Purveys your online social media business. Wow. So you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, light side Leo spiritualist, if that resonates for you. Now, I heard light side Leo spiritualist. So, you know, you could, uh, and you have online social media business, heavy business energy, expanding. I think you're trying to grow your business or you are growing your business or um, you're revamping your business or whatever you're doing here. But, um, but you have an online social media business and we got the message about the business expansion in here earlier, but like a boss babe energy, um, or boss dude energy, but you're a Leo light side spiritualist. You can be a man, man or a woman, but you have a secret admirer, sir, ma'am. You have a secret admirer and I heard their light side and they, uh, whoever it is for some, it could be an air sign because we have the heavy light side air sign energy in here earlier for some, it could be any other sign. But I didn't hear a sign on them in this round for this message. But my point is, is they're, they've been watching, they've been, I heard they've been purveying your online social media business. So they like your online social media business, whatever you do um, online and you gain some kind of income or incomes off of it. They either like it or they watch it because it's you. I don't feel stalker creeper energy here. Hopefully they actually like your work is what I'm trying to say. And they're not just like oogling your goodies. Um, I don't feel that though. Cause I, um, I don't feel that. I don't feel that we didn't get the too, too much concern with sexual matters. We got romances in the air. So if I felt, if I got the too much concern with sexual matters, I would feel stalker creeper vibes, but I got romances in the air with, um, they, they're secretly admiring your online social media business. So, I think they respect your work is what I'm trying to say. I think they respect your work. They most certainly do. And it's helped them out in a huge way. A huge way. Okay, that's confirmation. Okay, so no stalker creeper vibes. Okay, thank God. Okay, they do respect your work, Leo. Masculine fib Leo, light size spiritualist. They respect your work and it's helped them out in huge ways. Whoever this person is, whatever sign they are. And um, they secretly admire you. Um, I think they have secret romantic feelings for you because we have romances in the air now i don't think they've told you uh obviously <laughs> secret of my energy um i don't think they've told you um there are many shocking series of chain events for one of these leos it probably will happen soon there are many shocking series of chain events for one of you it probably will happen soon so for one they probably won't tell you they secretly admire you they respect your work. It's really helped you out, help them out. And they have secret romantic feelings towards you. For one, they probably won't tell you. But for one, through many shocking series of chain events, they will. Probably soon, I heard. So I'm thinking that might be in November because we have the November card. Or for some, it might be October because I heard October and November. So, uh, and, and when they came out, in the when I was shuffling, they came out side by side. So for some, I think it could be November. For some, I think it could be October. But some kind of shocking series of chain events soon for one of you guys, they will tell you. But for one, they won't. Uh, but you, whoever you are, at least two Leo light side spiritualists, man or woman, light side spiritualists with an online social media platform, you definitely got a uh, secret of my world. Romance is in the air. This isn't the dirty bird. Too much concern with sexual matters. So that's good. For one, you're going to receive flowers soon. For one, you're going to receive life-altering information in the mail soon. You should have received this a long time ago, but there was huge mail fraud there. Huge. And through many shocking series of chain events, at least one person that committed mail fraud against you they're one, they're being investigated. One is about to be investigated. And one of these people will end up in, in jail. If not, prison down the line. Oh, my God Almighty. So you plug it in how it resonates. Damn. Okay, so for one of you guys, you had heavy mail fraud against you in the past. Heavy mail fraud. And that's a federal offense. I heard one of them, they're going to end up in jail, if not prison. But the thing is, is mail fraud is a federal offense. And that's just the truth. It is a federal offense. So 
you can end up in jail all day long. But when you go into the freaking judge, how the hell do they not convict them for mail fraud and automatically go to the damn penitentiary for because it's a federal offense? If anybody needs to hear that. Because, I mean, everybody knows that's general knowledge. Mail fraud is a federal offense. Federal penitentiary time. And I'm just being for real. But, hell, I don't work in the courthouse. I don't work in the legal sector. But that is what that is if you read, if you Google it on Google. And that's just the truth. So anyway, so somebody, one of you guys had your mail, uh, one of you guys about to get important information in the mail soon. It sounds like Postal Service Energy. But but whoever this is for, you had your mail, mail stolen in the past. Mail fraud. One person has already been investigated for the mail fraud, it sounds like. Another one is about to be. And I heard the mini series of shame events, at least the one, I don't know if it's the one already being investigated for the mail fraud or the one is about to be. Sounds like at least two people stole your mail in the past, Leo. My God. This is sad. But at least one of these people through many shocking series of chain events, I heard they're going to be in jail soon. Hopefully, they can get convicted of the mail fraud and end up in prison. Because you that is a federal offense. And that's just the truth. But I think whoever is... I heard one's under investigation and one is about to be. So maybe for some of you, and I didn't hear this, just intuitively I feel this, maybe for one of you guys, Maybe this is one of the people investigating it or is about to investigate it might have the crush on you, possibly. Um, possibly. I didn't hear that. I just intuitively feel that, maybe, for some. For some, maybe not. You plug it in how it resonates. But heavy mail fraud energy, regardless, and two of you guys got a secret of mine. One, you're going to learn about it soon. One, you're not. They're not going to tell you. And one of you guys going to end up getting flowers soon. One, important information in the mail that you should have got a long time ago. But somebody committed mail fraud against you, and it was at least two people. So you plug it in how it resonates, Leo. Come on, buddy. Come on. Position of authority. A particular Leo has really stepped up running a successful business. And through many shocking series of chain events, it's about to really start taking off in a positive way. Even more business. You're a very light side individual and you're very honest and you're very respectful with your clients. And you're very liked by your clients. And you're very honest. And this is about to pay off in a huge way. For one, you're about to get a lot of clientele in. A lot. Because you are very respectful. You're very honest. And you really care about your clients. Wow. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. That's beautiful. So heavy business owner energy here. So in this aspect, position of uh, authority is you being a business owner. Now, this can be manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO out in the uh, 3D world, like 3D workspace energy. Um, but in this aspect, it is business owner energy, like manager, boss, supervisor, CEO of your own business, or co-owning a business, or what have you, what have you. Expansion with the position of authority. That's business owner energy all day long in here. Wow. I heard your business is doing well, Leo, if this resonates for you. It's doing well now. So it's it's thriving and it's doing well. And you are, it sounds like succeeding here. Um, but, and for some, I feel you could have stepped into new experiences or new things or taken on or expanded your business or revamped it or something of that nature. Possibly, um, because somehow somebody has gained a lot of clientele. Now, it could have been previous clients or new clientele, however that resonates, but it sounds like recent past energy, a lot of clientele. Um, but soon you're about to gain, I heard, way more clientele. But it's because you, I heard you're honest. You're honest. 
honesty is the best policy and that's just the truth you're honest you truly care about your client or cl well, clients here several of them i'm feeling you're honest you care about your clients i think your clients can sense you care about them i'm feeling um and um and you're not blowing smoke up their ass. You're not lying to them. But somehow they know you're not lying to them. And that is about to benefit you in a huge way. Because I heard double deuces honesty in here in the channel messages. So that's double confirmation of honesty. So honesty is very key in this. They, your clients are appreciating the honesty, your straightforwardness, your caring, and um, your, your, I think, attention to their need or needs whatever service or services you're providing um and i heard they really appreciate that they really appreciate that and um it sounds like word of mouth is about to become very significant in this very significant about to really help grow your business word of mouth is about to become very significant in this very significant it's about to really help grow your business okay I was kind of intuitively feeling word of mouth, but then I got the channel message. So that's confirmation. Okay, so they're about to spread it around word of mouth. They're about to spread it around word of mouth, your whatever service or services you're offering here. You have to plug it in how it resonates. But you are a business owner or co-business owner or um, or something of that nature. Business energy, whether it's LLC or sole proprietorship. But you're doing some kind of service that's servicing client or clientele. They appreciate the honesty, they appreciate the respect, they appreciate the way you, uh, I'm assuming you're on time with appointment or appointments, or you um, do what you say you're going to do, or whatever, whatever. But whatever you're doing, it's working for your clients, and they appreciate whatever knowledge or information or service or services you're providing. And... I heard word of mouth is about to become very significant in this, but I think that's why you're, it sounds like you've already developed a, a pretty significant, substantial client base, but soon it's about to substantially expand and increase because of the word of mouth of your current clients, because you treat them with honesty, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. You truly care about them. And whatever you're offering, service or services, you're not blowing smoke up their ass. Definitely not blowing smoke up their ass. There has been many confirmations for many of these people. Some of them were shocked. They thought you were a fraud. Oh my God. Wow. So high vibrational Leo. Okay. So there's been many confirmations for many people. And some of the people, some of your previous clientele, I heard they were shocked because they thought you were a fraud. So you proved them wrong that you wasn't a fraud. Somehow you confirmed something for them without them telling you. And it shocked them because they thought you were a fraud. So since they realized you're not a fraud, and um, it sounds like they're about to positively talk about you because you can't refute the, refute the truth. And obviously you confirmed something that they didn't tell you previously. I feel for some you can be psychics. I feel for some you can be psychics or you could be um, readers or you could be, or something of that. Somehow confirmations are key in here. So I think you're a psychic or a prophetess or an intuitive or a reader. <laughs> I'm serious. I heard they thought you were a fraud, but you confirmed it <laughs> and it shocked the hell out of them. So I feel for one, you're at least a psychic, a prophetess, prophet, something like that. I'm just being for real. Um, <laughs> Because confirmations are key for us, um, for psychics, intuitive prophetesses, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, and I'm just being for real. Um, for light side individuals and the real deal shit. And that's just the truth. <laughs> so, um, so for some, they thought you were frauds, but it shocked them. So they're about to grow. It's about to word of mouth. They're going to positively spread you around because you really are the real deal. <laughs> oh, that's. But that's good. That's good. You proved one person wrong in such a huge way. They were smiling in your face and you shocked the hell out of them. Oh my God. I heard you. Okay. So one of your clients, Leo, you proved you shocked the hell out of them. It sounds like it's a client you've already serviced. I heard they were smiling in your face. So when 
you took their money and y'all started the appointment and whatever you were doing, they were smiling in your face, but they wanted you to fail basically because they thought you were a fraud. They thought you, um, you didn't know shit. You didn't know what the hell you were doing. Um, they were hoping you would fail, but you shocked the hell out of them. And it's something to do with confirmation or confirmations, meaning you knew shit that they didn't tell you and it confirmed something for them. But all the while they were smiling in your face, hoping you wouldn't know, hoping you were a fraud, hoping you would fall on your face, but you didn't. But now you've impressed the hell out of them. Seriously impress them. And it's about to benefit you in a huge way. Seriously impress them and it's about to benefit them in a huge way. This is a long reading, but we're still going to go. So, um, wow, that's great. Um, heavy clientele energy, Leo. <laughs> wow, this is juicy. <laughs> and one of your clients, previous clients, is going to watch this reading. And it's going to benefit you in a huge way. And wow, and one of your previous clients is going to watch this reading and it's going to benefit them in a huge way. So heavy clientele energy, in this aspect, you are a business owner, uh, expanding your business or attempting to expand your business or you are, have expanded your business, Leo. But I will tell you, you had a lot of hateration. You had a lot of hateration. You had a lot of people thought you were fake. A lot of people thought you were a fraud. A lot of people thought you were phony. A lot of people thought you were not who you said you were. But you have proved these people wrong in a huge way. A Libra is getting a huge ass wake up call. A huge wake up call. A Libra is getting a, and an Aquarius. A Libra and an Aquarius is getting a huge ass wake up call. So we got a Libra and an Aquarius getting a huge ass wake up call in here. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, man. So in this aspect, position high authority is basically um, the business owner aspect here. But the expansion, if this resonates. I feel you're a light side uh, Leo spiritualist. Is, I'm serious. I feel for some you can be psychics, intuitive, prophetesses, prophets, um, whatever you want to call yourself, but light side spiritualist, uh, something to do with confirmation, if that resonates. And for one, you are a position of authority in a corporate conglomerate. And you are about to have a co-worker underneath you really try to become your work husband. He is about to come on very strong. You are Leo feminine. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay. So if this resonates for you, you work out in the 3D workspace and you're a position of authority, Leo fem, if that resonates. It's somebody that works underneath you. So I feel you're either manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO, Leo Fem, position of high authority out in the 3D workspace. Now, where, wherever you work, only you know that. But you are manager, boss, supervisor, CEO of something. Um, and you have a masculine energy underneath you. I heard that he's going to try. He's about to come on very strong to you. Very strong. It could be a fire sign or air sign, possibly, or any other sign. He hasn't done it yet, but he's about to come on very strong to you. And you work in the 3D workspace. I heard he wants to be your work husband. Um, it would not be a good idea. He has many women, many women and an STD. He has blonde hair. Oh my God. Whoa. I heard it would not be a good idea. He has, um, he apparently um, dates many women, which, you know, hey, Jeffrey will do that. That's your choice. But he also has an STD, and uh, whoever you are, Leo Fem, position authority, has blonde hair. So whoever this person is, uh, ho only you can identify who this person is. He hasn't come on strong yet to you, I'll tell you that. He works underneath you, so he is your subordinate. And you are a manager, boss, supervisor, CEO of him in some shape, form, or fashion. He is either at least one rank under you, if not two, or whatever underneath you. But he's underneath you, subordinate energy. I heard specifically he has blonde hair. And if you didn't know this, for some you might, but he dates many women and he has STD. I'm sure you don't know that. I'm sure you don't display that out very publicly, but he has blonde hair and he hasn't come on to you yet. That could be the romances in the air too. This is a workplace situation, uh, but, but I would be careful of this because if you get in the middle of this shit, um, this could be messy in a New York minute. 
I mean, this could be very messy. And you are above him. Um, I wouldn't do it. Of course, you could take the advice or leave it. I wouldn't do it. I don't get into workplace affairs. I was in middle of one. It wasn't even an affair. We dated for like two years. I was 18 when we ended it. I'm 39. That was 21 years ago. I lived and learned from that. I would never do it again. And that's just the truth. Never in the workplace ever again. But everybody's different. But my point is, workplace affairs are usually very messy. I've seen a lot of them with other people in my workplace environments. And that's another confirmation of why I would never do it. Because they are so messy, especially if you're above them. And whoever you are, you're a Leo feminine and you are above them. They haven't done it yet. I heard they want to be your work husband. But it might be because of the money. It might be because of the clout. It might be because of the stature, Leo fem, position of authority. I'd be careful. For some, I feel they might do it in November. Workplace affairs are very messy. Now, of course, you have free will to do this. But I wouldn't. Of course, you can take the advice or leave it, okay? Messy, messy, messy. For one, you're about to get a stolen inheritance. You're a Leo feminine. You're about to get a stolen inheritance you should have had years ago. Through many series of chain of events. It's about to give you a lot of personal power, financial backing, and you're about to make a lot of changes in your life, positive changes. Oh, that's beautiful. So this is personal power energy here. Position of authority, personal power of your own life, over your own money, over your own whatever, whatever. It's a it's a Leo feminine, if that resonates for you. I heard you should have had the um, the uh, stolen inheritance years ago. Uh, but through many series of chain events, you're about to get it. And um, it's about to give you a lot of personal power over your own life. Your own life, your own, um, your own uh, financial backing. You'll be able to make improve. I heard you're going to make many positive improvements in your life. So I'm thinking maybe on you aesthetically or in your home or space or your kid or kids or your life in some shape, form, or fashion, if that resonates. I heard you should have had it a long time ago, years ago. I heard years, years ago. So um, position high authority of your own life here. Um, and you're going to have the money to, to be able to be com very comfortable, apparently. Very comfortable. You have struggled for many years. And have built yourself up. Okay, I heard uh, very comfortable. You have struggled for many years and built yourself up. So I feel for some you could receive it in November possibly. Uh, but this is position of authority of your own life if this resonates and applies. Okay. Dogs getting together with friends. Another Leo is about to have their mouth open when they watch this reading. They know why. Okay. So, how that resonates. Okay. Some kind of another Leo energy. Um, I heard they're about to have their mouth open when they watch this reading. They know why. So, I'm not sure um, whoever this Leo is, mouth open, like jaw dropping, like that's mouth open. So I don't know why their mouth is going to be open like jaw dropping energy or not. I don't know. But it's a, a, a Leo energy that's going to be at this. I heard at this reading. So I don't know why. I don't know why. I feel that can go positive or negative. Only that Leo is going to know why their jaw's dropping. <laughs> so you plug it in how it resonates. Dogs getting together with friends. A Leo, through many series of chain events, is about to start traveling a lot more, a lot more. And they're about to start meeting all different kinds of people and all different kinds of locations. And it is about to be very positive for them. Positive connections here. 
about to meet them in unexpected ways all over the country in many different ways. Wow, we're at an hour. So one of you guys, you're about to start traveling more. So I don't know if the income's going to come up or, um, or you just save money to travel or what have you, what have you. Whoever this resonates for and however this applies. But I heard you're about to start meeting people all over the country in many different ways and many unexpected ways. And it's about to benefit you. So um, getting together with fit friends in this aspect is, I think, meeting friends in different aspects and different areas of the country and the world and in all the locations you're about to travel to. You haven't traveled there yet. Now, how you get there, plane, train, boat, whatever, car, whatever, 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 scooter, Segway, I don't know. But you're about to travel, and you're about to travel, it sounds like a lot. And whoever you are, I think you like to travel. I think you like to travel. For some, it could be for personal. For some, it could be for, for pleasure. For some, it could be both. But you're about to start traveling. And I think you love to travel, and that's why you're about to start um, maintaining these um not maintaining, but forming and forging these connections in a positive way. Um, so getting together, I think this is uh, meeting these people in these places and then exchanging contact information is what I'm feeling. Um, I'm feeling forging positive connections here. Hey, I enjoyed hanging out with you. I enjoyed um, spending to, uh, talking with you at the park. Um, I live five, five states over. Can I get you add you on Facebook? That kind of energy. Or um, if you're ever out this way, let me know. And, um, you know, you can um, stay a night on my couch. Here's my number. If you're ever in, the, um, in, in this city again, kind of energy. So in this aspect, I feel it's like meeting people. I heard different places and it hasn't happened yet. Many different areas. I feel like saving contact in a phone energy. Adding a person on Facebook or Instagram or whatever social media platform, like friend contact energy, adding saved numbers and phones, like positive connections. It hasn't happened yet, and that's traveling, if that resonates, okay? For some, I feel you can be a position of authority, and maybe that's why you're going to travel um, and forge all these contacts. For some, maybe not. Um Maybe you're just position of authority in your own life. For some, you might have, for some, you're a business owner. Uh, for some, you could be position of authority. But one of you position of authorities in a 3D workspace, I'd be careful because you've got somebody underneath you, a blonde-headed little masculine energy or big masculine energy, wanting to be your work husband. And I'm just being for real, for real. Somebody needs to be careful. And I heard he's blonde. So, you know, I feel he can be any ethnicity any skin tone or color because there's dark melanated people that have dyed blonde hair i mean they could be caucasian they can be not caucasian but i mean blonde whatever blonde constitutes is what i'm trying to say somebody wants to be your work husband position of authority leo just saying just saying A Leo Feminine is about to give birth soon. Very soon. Unexpected people are about to show up to the maternity ward. Drama, drama, drama. You're not going to want this. You're For one, you're going to get someone in the room when you find out they come. And make an excuse so they don't come in the room. Oh, drama on the maternity ward. Holy shit. So you plug it in. How, this is so juicy. You plug it in how it resonates. Okay. So for one, you're 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 pregnant. You are prego. Like big prego. I think a third trimester, like nine months or eight months. I mean, you you're about to pop, man. I'm just being for real. Like, boo! I heard you're about to give birth soon. So I mean like the baby's almost here. Like popping. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> but okay so you're about to give birth soon so you're I mean you're about ready to pop like I, I imagine like a turkey 
and then the timer. You're about to pop with the baby, with baby, just for real. I mean, not literally, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so, okay, so you're about to give birth soon. Well, you know, I heard maternity ward, so that obviously after you give birth to the baby, they move you up to a room, maternity ward, you know, uh, so people can come up and visit ooh and ah after the baby, take some photos with you and the baby and all that. Um, I've been pregnant twice. Trust me, I know how it rolls. Um, so it sounds like you're about to have unexpected for, it sounds like two of you about to pop. One, both of you about to get birth soon. One, it sounds like both of you are about to have a lot of guests, unexpected guests come up. Both of you are. But for one, it, it sounds like you're going to be okay with all the guests. But for one, you're not. And in this, this situation, I heard you're going to send somebody currently that's going to be in the room when you find out the unexpected guest you don't want there. You're going to send somebody that's currently in the room out the room to give some kind of excuse to where you don't want them in the room. But it's going to be uh, letting them down lightly excuse if that resonates. That's for one. For one, The other one, you don't care. So you have to plug yourself in and refit. You're both very, very third trimester I'm feeling. Like, I mean, like, the baby's about, like, pop it. Like, about to come out the JJ. And I'm just being for real. Whoever that's for. Okay? I love you guys. I hope this helped. And namaste.